At the notorious Quezon City Jail, they sing about their daily routine. A bizarrely cheerful display amid the most miserable of conditions. In the two months since the president launched his drug offensive, almost 700,000 drug users have turned themselves in, living like this in prison, better than no life at all. This facility was built to house 800 men that are currently more than 4,000. As of today, they've had to stop taking in any more inmates. Duterte's war on drugs has driven them to breaking point. Cells designed for 20 are home to 200. Makeshift platforms, the stone floor, staircases, every inch of space, now someone's bed. Disease is rife and food is scarce. Less than a pound a day is spent on rations per prisoner. The vast majority are in for drug-related crimes. I'm taking drugs and the police arresting us. 22-year-old Raleigh was brought in last week. He was caught in possession of crystal meth and will be taken to court in September. But it could be months, even years, before he is released. You see, this is my bed. It's only two square meters. Erwin Escalante was arrested 15 years ago and is still awaiting trial. He missed seeing his children grow up. If they come here, I keep my s smile. But if they go out, no. I'm lying here, I cry. It's very hard, you know? President Duterte has called on drug users and sellers to turn themselves in or face being hunted down. Either you surrender or you are shot. His quick fix solution to a decades-old problem.